Hi, King Boomer. I cannot decide whether you look like a Civil War general or a communist dictator, but either way, I don't like it. Hi, guys. Hello, Boomerites, and welcome back. It is I, King Boomer, and the lovely Queen Boomer. And today we're getting into the second episode of IT Crowd. We really like the first one. Yeah, I'm excited. It's got Father Ted vibes written all over it. It's the same writer, um, Graham Linehan, I After believe. Like I apologize if I'm saying that name wrong. Five minutes into the show, you could totally <clears throat> tell it was yes. not even five minutes, five seconds. It was definitely, yeah, it had Father Ted yeah. written all over it. But no, I'm really excited. But a completely to see different where they subject, so with the show. Yeah, it's it seems quite good. And um again, I think my favorite character is gonna be the boss guy. I've oh, got, really? I've got the mustache and the slicked hair, yeah. I like the uh, I forgot his name, but like kind of the socially awkward one. He's like a Dougal. With the uh Afro. Afro yeah, and the glasses. I like him. But What's his name? <laughs> I can't remember. I can't remember any of their names. Yeah, I actually can't either. But people who have followed this channel for a while now know that we're terrible with names. Yeah. And there, I mean, there's shows that I'm like three or four seasons into at the moment, yeah. and I still can't remember their characters. <laughs> You're like names. that guy. That guy, yeah, that guy. <laughs> but anyway, remember to like, subscribe, do whatever you guys want, and hopefully you like the reaction. Let's get into it. Here we go. Did a mosquito bite you? Here? Yeah. I don't know. It blew a mosquito bite. Really? Uh, they got they lit up my legs, that's for sure. I know. Yeah. I love that sound. Do you? Yeah, it's nostalgic. Calamity Jen. Wow, that was a quick, <laughs> that was a quick pause. What do you got to say? I think I'm the only girl in the world that does not get excited over shoes. Really? You really don't know. No, I don't give a shit about shoes. I honestly <laughs> think we should just all be barefoot. I like my feet in the sand on the beach. I don't like shoes. It would and definitely make our feet tougher, that's for sure. Um, What the hell are they called? Those look so uncomfortable, high heels. They do. I don't, like, I don't envy your lot I've with that. I've worn them for like weddings or for like events. And you know what happens? I wear them for two hours, I take pictures, and then I dance barefoot. Right. I think you're not alone with that, actually, yeah. though. But, uh, believe it or not, a lot of guys care about their shoes, too. Do they? Yeah. Um, Do you like high heels? <laughs> like, not for I mean, you, but, like, me and heels. N n n I've never gone crazy over high heels, no. Yeah. Um, as a look on women. But, um, yeah, guys care a lot about shoes, too. Uh, mm -hmm. Especially in, like, when you're in high school. Yeah. Um, you start to care about your shoes a lot. But once I hit, like mid-20s, mm -hmm. I was like, I don't give a shit. I just wanted them to be comfy. And, like, I usually go for a shoe that's, like, all the same color. Yeah. So, like, you don't really give a shit what the patterns look like and stuff, you know? See, for girls, besides this one pair of shoes, the things that were in were gladiator sandals, which were, like, dirt cheap, so those were fine. Um, and then Converse, which weren't super expensive. Yeah, they're pretty cheap. And then we, the big thing was coach tenor shoes. Coach tenor shoes. Coach, like, sneakers. Okay. Um, it's actually called tennis. They call them trainers. It's called tennis shoes. Mm -hmm. But in the south, I don't know why, we call them tenor shoes. Yeah, that's a southern thing. That's a southern thing. I don't, I don't understand shoes, why you call it a tenor. But I don't know why. Because <laughs> it's no called, idea. you have tennis shoes, you have running shoes, tenor I got no fucking idea what I, you're talking about Maybe some about country that. man couldn't pronounce tennis, and he was like, that there, them's them tenor shoes. Uh -huh. But that's like literally what I grew up saying, so they're tennis I, shoes. When it comes to the tenor shoes, I got an idea. <laughs> I got an idea about tennis yeah, shoes. Yeah, you want to hear my idea? What? Shoot it. Do you know what's funny, though? <laughs> Go to any store, and if it's a local Floridian, and you're like, where's your tenor shoes? He'll be like, I'll show you the aisle. They'll know exactly what you're talking about there. Tenor shoes. Oh, I'm going to try that then. Because technically we are in the South, even though it's not really a Southern state anymore. That's why I said you gotta, you gotta find anymore. a Southerner or a Floridian. Yeah. Or drive up to Georgia. They all call them tenor shoes there. I will. <laughs> Has this ever happened to you? Oh, 
From today, dialing 999 won't get you the emergency services. And that's not the only thing that's changing. Nicer ambulances, faster response times, and better looking drivers mean they're not just the emergency services. <laughs> and better looking drivers! That's important! <laughs> if you're a little old lady. I don't give a shit! Oh god, that's hilarious. That's the, fu that's the funniest part of it. And better looking drivers. They're your emergency services. So, remember the new number. Holy lip oh, man. That's her stuff. It's a long ass number. I've had a bit of a tumble. Well, that's easy to remember. Oh one one eight nine 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 eight eight one nine 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 one one nine seven two five three. I don't know why they just couldn't keep it as it was. How hard is it to remember nine one one? You mean nine? I mean nine nine nine. That's, yeah, that's the, the American, American one. one. Yeah. You bug. Right. Yeah, I was assuming that nine 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 is there. Yeah. 911 for us. That's that's different. Zero. But why would we assume that they have the same number as us? Yeah, exactly. You know. I mean, we all we're actually we always talk about our differences with them. We have a lot of similarities too. Yeah. But we tend to focus on the differences. I think it's either 011 or 411 is for emergency farm animals. Really? Yeah. yeah. I, didn't know, I didn't know that. I've never owned farm animals, so. <laughs> no, honestly, honestly, it's fine. There are so many shoes in the world. You know, they are beautiful. I love them. In fact, the most beautiful shoes I've ever seen. But, you know, I can't have everything that I love. Otherwise, I'd own lots of things. And actually, they're red, which is quite tarting. I don't necessarily go with any of my outfits. Although, Shh. actually, they do go with most of them. Come on, you crazy on. bitch. I don't want to say that. Come on. Denim's called a general. Oh, God, I'm not yeah. I can't believe he said that. I know. I was not expecting that. I wouldn't expect that out of a nerd's mouth. Yeah. You know? <laughs> the nerds must be built different over there. Maybe. He loves declaring war. <laughs> I am declaring war. <laughs> I love this guy. I can see that got your attention. On what? Oh my god. <laughs> what am I declaring war on? My bollocks? He's a bike guy. <laughs> Stress. T t be careful. I stepped into this, er this arena in a reaction video I did, mm -hmm. and uh, a lot of them get quite upset with me because they get a lot of bikers over there. Yes, they do. They have the grand, so be careful. Grand Prix. Tread carefully. Is it the Grand Prix? Is it the Grand, grand Prix? I, I don't. I don't know what you're talking about. The Grand Prix. <laughs> the Grand. <laughs> the, the, the Grand Dupree. They're oh not French. God. I'm not trying to be. Races to get to French people, <laughs> but it's when they ride their bikes around the town. That's a tour de France. Oh, I thought it was <laughs> wow, Queen Boomer never fails to oh, disappoint. Oh my god, I cannot remember the words for scenes. Okay, anyway, do you want to continue? Because oh. you might catch a lot of backlash if you continue any further. Okay. Because okay. I, I went on a rant about bikers, especially on the roads. And, uh, yeah, I get a lot of... Look, it's my own it's it. my own personal thing. I'm sure all bikers... I'm sure a bunch of bikers are great. It's it's like I, how I don't like umbrellas. <laughs> that's no one else's... You're going to need one over there. That's no one else's... No, you just get wet. That's no one <laughs> else's thing but mine. Just get wet. Queen Boomer. I get annoyed if you won't walk the dog in the rain. What? I get annoyed if you won't walk the dog in the rain. I don't want to walk the dog in the rain. Why? What is it going to do to you? It's going to get the... It's not what it's going to do to me. It's going to get the dog soaking wet. Then you dry it off with the towel. And then the whole house smells like wet dog. Dry it off with the towel. She's got to pee. Yeah. Well, she can, it doesn't rain longer than 30 minutes here. She can pee in half an hour. 
Get wet. <laughs> if I was in a place where it rained for like a day or two straight, then yes, I would take the dog out. Yeah. I don't know. Just umbrellas and bikers. That's all I'm going to say. Stress is a disease, people. And I am the cure. I'm a doctor with the cure. No, I'm not. I'm a general. And it's still a war. A war on disease. Stress! <laughs> There's too much stress around here. They're very stress expensive. And besides, a woman in the shops are dead way too small the for me. So, you know, be practical. In the time I've been speaking, oh, over 80 million people have died of stress. <laughs> <laughs> Really this shows, shoes. This show's great. <laughs> Mayhem. We've got to deal with it. Are you ready to deal with it? Oh <laughs> this is such... It's so Father Ted. It is. It's so ridiculous. I love yeah. this boss, though. He's great. He's great. Say, I hate stress. I hate stress. No, you didn't let me finish. Say, I hate stress. And I want a limited influence in my life. What can I do about it? Anyone? Have a bath? <laughs> Have a bath? Get a bike! I cycle to work every day. 70 miles! Both here and oh, here no. are as red as a fire engine. Any other ideas? <laughs> Why did they do a shot like that? <laughs> They did that on purpose. <laughs> Dude, it's, we gotta stop pausing. We're like four minutes in and it's like recording for 12 minutes but only four minutes in the show. We're bad. We're terrible Jim, this we're one. Go to the Grand Shoes. Dupree. Shoes. What? Shoes. What? Shoes. Okay, look. I have invited Dr. Julian Holmes to come and give a class at lunchtime. He is Europe's leading stress expert. Oh they call them stress birds. Anyone interested in coming along picking up a few tips on how to manage stress? As a free buffet. <laughs> Good. Good people. Oh, by the way, anyone still experiencing stress at the end of the day? Well, be fired! <laughs> it's not going on. Yeah, I think it is, though. <laughs> Just angle it a bit more. Are you sure you're a five? Yeah. I'm not a liar. Yeah, but I mean, I can't. <laughs> yeah, just, just, I can feel the hill going into the shoe. Just angle it a bit more. There is no angle that I could. Don't let me push you away. Just lean in with the shoe. Lean in with the shoe. I can't. Lean in. <laughs> no shoe is worth this. <laughs> We've been here for half an hour. The shoes aren't going on. They are two sizes too small. And even if they did go on, they would cripple you. You don't want that, do you? <laughs> yeah, no, just, no I, I, I know women like their shoes, but I've never wanted a woman that would do that for shoes. No. That's a little, that's a little wackadoodle there. Look at her face. She's happy. And not, not anymore. Now she's yeah. starting to hurt. You know, I myself have been subject to some High heels that terrible fit. rages. But yes. Um, I'm sorry. Is this a stress class? Oh, yeah. Come on in. seems never stressed out. Um, sorry. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that looked like it wasn't intentional, that last ball. Are you all right? Um, 
as I was saying, uh, I myself have been subject to some terrible rages where I've uh, snapped at my wife or spoken harshly to a work colleague because of stress. Oh, that's good. That is a nice about spread. It now, I realize I'm raising my voice. So I I'm sorry. <laughs> stress is the main cause of heart attacks. And even a little bit. Well, let me show you what stress can do. What the fuck is that? I'm going to need a volunteer. Yes, come on up. That's fine. Can I have your left hand there? The back. And just relax there. I'm going to ask you a very personal question. There we are, you see? It's all right, I'm not going to ask you anything at all. That's just to show how little is needed to send our stress levels shooting up. Just a simple statement like that has registered very strongly on the display. Yes, another volunteer? Yeah. OK, I'll uh, just take some. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, very good. Yes, right on. Look at that. Brilliant. He's like, Brilliant. I won. It's a super machine. <laughs> <laughs> he almost fucking crying. He wanted to make it go to a tiny one. <laughs> wow, great shoes. <laughs> I really envy women with dainty feet. What are you? Five. Just a little uh, uh, misunderstanding there, I, I should imagine. So, uh, let's move on. We will. Whoa. Uh, I actually haven't heard a proper go yet. Well, I don't think that that should count, what's happened there. Well, Actually, I don't think that's fair. I would like a go, and I think Roy should be punished for nearly killing that lady. We'll move on. <laughs> well, I think I should go first. Yeah, I think so. Well, let's move when on. When did you grow your beard? We're going to move on. 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 Muffin. I want to see you a give muffin. that seminar. How can you be? You want to see me give that seminar? I want to see you give an anti-stress seminar. <sighs> wow. You might have to pay to see that. Yeah, I would. <laughs> Big bucks. Because <laughs> I'd be the first one to lose my shit. <laughs> you would. You'd be like, "Hello, everyone. We're here for the anti-stress. Sit down." <laughs> 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 Oh, thank you, baby girl. Oh, shut up! <laughs> what are you eating? Muffin. A muffin? How can you be hungry? You ate a whole chicken at the stress buffet. <laughs> What's that? Oh, I've made a stress machine to try out on myself, like the one in that class. Yeah. Watch this. I'm going to ask myself a very personal question. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm not really going to ask myself any questions. <laughs> not good. Not as good as the one in the stress class. And she's shoe mad. It's a bit sexist, isn't it? Yeah. Do you know one woman who isn't obsessed with shoes? No, but I only know one woman. And she just left the room shouting, The shoes are! <laughs> <laughs> I love him. He's like, this guy's your favorite. Oh my god! Stress machine. Yes. You turned it off. 
Oh, I'm fairly sure I did. <laughs> because you remember what happened last time, right? Yes, that was very funny. Well, no. no. <laughs> it was very dangerous and someone nearly died. <laughs> right, no, yeah, I was thinking of a different incident, the one on the golf course. What? <laughs> I'm talking about the fire! Wait, stop! Oh, yeah, fire. Stop, go back! Like the why? Yeah. yeah. I, I was too. thinking of a different incident, the one on the golf course. What? <laughs> <laughs> satisfying. I don't know why that was so satisfying to me. What? <laughs> I'm talking about the fire! Oh, yeah, fire, sorry. I always get mixed up between golf and fire. <laughs> just make sure it's off. It is off, I think. <laughs> well, just make sure it is. I will make sure it is. And if it's already off... <laughs> I'll just walk away. <laughs> Wait, get off my back. What is he, the soldering iron police? <laughs> <laughs> it's off. That means I turn it on and just walk away. <laughs> um... <laughs> <laughs> wow. It's still going on. <laughs> <laughs> you okay? I really liked how he did that. <laughs> like, oh. <laughs> I mean fire! <laughs> now let's see what we have here. Stand upright. Now I can't read it. Oh, not me. I am a giddy goat. Okay. Remove safety clip. Fire? Fire? No. Aim nozzle at base of fire. <laughs> oh, that is typical. Why has it done that? <laughs> uh, Why has it done that, made in Britain? <laughs> Fuck. Why does that mean something hey, just on fire? We, we can't make anything over here anymore anyway. We don't make anything we over don't. here. We don't. Yeah. Uh, I'll just put this over here with the rest of the fire. <laughs> Oh one one five three no. Oh one one eight. Oh one one eight. Oh no no. Three. Hello, is this the emergency services? Then which country am I speaking to? Hello. Hello. I know. Yeah. Subject, fire. <laughs> Dear Sir Stroke Madam, I am writing to inform you of a fire which has broken out at the premises of... No, that's too formal. <laughs> Dear Sir Stroke Madam, fire! Exclamation mark. Fire! Exclamation mark. <laughs> Help me! Exclamation mark. One, two, three, Carandon Road. Looking forward to hearing from you. <laughs> All the best, Maurice Moss. Okay, so remember, his name is Maurice. Maurice. <laughs> what are you wearing size five shoes for, woman? You're at least an eight. Eight? How dare you? That foot is completely mangled. And the other one's even worse. My God. You are not wearing these again. But I threw away my other shoes. What am I supposed to wear?
Oh. Oh! Turn on me. Can I have a go in your machine now? Who taught the stress class? Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, fuck you off. ruined him. <laughs> oh, yeah. It probably took him years. <laughs> oh my god! No, I didn't put that together. Oh, oh! Turn on me. Can I have a go in your machine now? <laughs> <laughs> Like a real little fight, like his shirt went up. Oh my god! That was a good big fight. Oh my god! The best part was that at the end he t t ends up taking the machine. Oh my god! He wanted to have a. Go. Can I have a go at it? And then they fight, and he's <laughs> like, "Yes, I got it." <laughs> it's like a legit oh fight god. between eight-year-olds. I know. Like, give me the toy No! <laughs> oh, I got the toy. Oh, that killed me. Hello again. Oh, hi. Please thank Yamamoto Sam for this fine ceremonial sword. It is a magnificent symbol of our new merger. I am sorry that my gift, a huge pair of Doc Martens with extremely thick and heavy soles, is so paltry in comparison. Please rest assured that my cultural advisor will be fired as soon as this meeting is over. These are very heavy shoes. Yes. It feels like uh, Godzilla. <laughs> Does he? Godzilla! Go on! Stamp your feet! Clap him, man! Good! The Jack loves it! I kinda like this boss. He's a good for you! You wanna stomp, you stomp your heart out! He does everything 100% and I like that. This, oh my god. It's like the Father Ted where they take something ridiculous and then dial it up to 11. Yes, I like that. You know. That's how you make life fun. Break something! Break something. Put your weight into it! She said, she also said, they bleeped out a lot of stuff that she said, though, but it, what, yeah. it was, she said twat and wanker. I heard wanker. So. <laughs> I am so sorry, Dana. That was quite a tirade, Jen. It would have been even worse if Paul hadn't been so quick on the profanity buzzer. Well done, Paul. You're back on the payroll. As for you, you're fucked up. Shouting at Japs. Mad. That was... I love that. That was so dumb and so <laughs> cute. <laughs> I need to get one of those buzzers for you. You do? I do. I, yeah. I am so scared Adrian's first word is going to be that word. 
Uh, well, they know I have a potty mouth. You do. I've had some people complain about my potty mouth. Which Fix it. It's, it's, I will admit, I curse a little too much. You're a father now? You're a father now, Jordan? You're a father now, Brian? You gotta fix it. <laughs> oh my god. Play that again. Quick on the profanity buzzer. <laughs> well done, Paul. You're back on the payroll. <laughs> As for you, you're fucked up. <laughs> Shouting at Japs. Mad feet. Both classic signs of stress. And you know how I feel about stress. Go to your office and wait for me. <laughs> We're just thinking this fire's still going on. Fire! Fire! I sent an email, it's fine. An email? It's a, it's a fire! Where? Where's the best the best single shot? How? Made in Britain. This is just like the golf incident. You mean the fire incident? I mean the fire incident. Of course I mean the fire incident. What have you got there? Oh, I'm in trouble. I'm in real trouble. Help me get my shoes on. I've got to get my shoes on. Help me get my shoes on before Denim comes. Denim's coming? Yeah, and he's going to fire. Fire! Fire! <laughs> I've taken care of it. I have to say, I feel a little bit insulted by the lack of faith you both display. <laughs> what happened to your feet? What is this? I think a fire in the office demands a little more attention than my feet, don't you? How, how did you get the stress machine, Roy? Um, don't really know. <laughs> Miss Dr. Holmes by the lifts. Wasn't he nice? I thought he was a lovely man. Yeah, I thought he was a delight. <laughs> but I met him there by the lifts and he just went mental. Uh-huh. And uh, one thing led to another, and I just I stole it. You stole it? Yeah. <laughs> but that's stealing! <laughs> yeah. Didn't know what a stress machine was this morning, and now we have two of them. I hate to remind everyone, but um, I just destroyed a merger that probably took hundreds of years to set up. The office is on fire. Denim is furious. So can we please, please concentrate on what's important? And help me out with my shoes! Don't you get into trouble? Empty. Ah, got a little bit there. Wow. Oh, quick! No, no, quick! No, these are a size five. What are you, eight and a half? Shut, shut up. Come on. Pushing. Push it on. Don't let me push, push. you away. Is it eight? Like, come on. Push it on. Go. Whoa. Oh, oh, Deal with right through. Oh, my God. It hurts so much. Oh, God. Oh, my God. It's not worth it. Oh, Jen. Where are you, Jen? Denim. What? <laughs> Find the stress machine! <laughs> the stress machine? What about a fire? OK, put the stress machine in Jen's room. He'll never go in there. But what if he does? It doesn't matter. He won't know what it is. Oh, I can't go to prison, Roy. They'll rape the flip out of me. <laughs> you stole him by the door. How? I don't know. Use your womanly ways. Okay, Mars pack me that monitor, the broken. <laughs> I was confused for a second because I thought when they were running around, I was like, what happened to the fire? Did it just disappear? But there it is. It's oh. on the uh, other table. There you are. <laughs> Hello there. It's no use being womanly with me, Jen. You're in big trouble. Nice screensaver. <laughs> Admires the shit out of it too. He's yeah. like, nice He's screen like, I came in here to yell at someone, but really quick. <laughs> That's clever. Thank you. Aha! A stress machine. <laughs> Just what we need. Roll up your sleeves, Jen. Let's get this over. <laughs> it's a one-way ticket to Slammer Town for us, Roy, with no return ticket. <laughs> I really am losing quite a lot of blood. You understand this is your last chance. If the needle goes beyond here, you will be fired. Does that make you feel stressed? Jen, does it? No, are you sure? 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 <laughs> this show is so ridiculous. It is. It is so ridiculous. This is this is perfect for you and me. It's we so love this goofy. kind of stupid, goofy stuff. Are you 
you sure? Are you sure? Are you sure? I'll level with He's you. You're doing boy. a good job of I doing it the exact same. It's like the same time, pitch, yeah. yeah. Can I try on your glasses? <laughs> See this balloon, Jan? I'm gonna burst it. But I'm not gonna tell you when. Do you feel stressed, Jen? 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 Look at that! <laughs> <laughs> Peace of mind. It's gonna go. <laughs> you okay? I don't know why the balloon popping to my face would stress me out more than any of the other stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I thought you were dying when he turned the thing out. Oh no, one. that too. <laughs> look at the look at the quick to fucking turn too that he does. Watch how fast he turns it. But I'm not gonna tell you when. Do you feel stressed, Jen? Jen? Jen, look at that! <laughs> That's your peace of mind. It's gonna go bang. Do you feel stressed now, Jen? 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 <laughs> Jen? 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 Do you? Evidently not. <laughs> well done, Jen. You're not being fired by me at this precise moment. <laughs> oh my God. I love the way the smoke seems to be coming off the top of it. <laughs> Just a second. I'm late for golf. <laughs> I wonder why it didn't work. <laughs> ah. <laughs> I do know. If it's the loss of blood or the melting plastic from the monitor, but I feel great. <laughs> it's ironic, but this entire situation has been quite stressful. I'll get help. Did someone email us about a fire? an email about a fire oh my god that one was like jam-packed with craziness yes it was yes it was very very good this this show's fun it is fun this show's i fun. like it it's got the exact crazy goofiness that father ted had yeah that we love so much because yeah i don't know about you but other than the human tweeners my favorite show that we've reacted to from across the Atlantic was I really Father, like Ted. Father Ted. Too. Father Ted was absolutely amazing, and uh, same writer. It, it definitely shows um, completely different environment, but still. Yeah, it's just such like a simple thing, like a little IT office job. Yeah. Oh my God! The the, the stressed crazy. out guy teaching the class, and then he's like, "Hey, remember me?" And then he flips out. I know, I Shit think, like that kills me. I think the boss and then Morris, Maurice, Maurice, yeah, are my favorite. I really like the boss. Yeah, yeah, he's absurd. Um, are you sure? Are you sure? Are you sure? <laughs> are you sure? Are you sure? He did it like the same pitch he did every time. Each time, like literally ten times. Oh my god, I really like the show. It's great. Yeah, I can't wait to do more. That was called Calamity Jen. But yeah, I don't know. Like like you said, I know a lot of women that love shoes. But obsessed with them to that point? Yeah. No, never, never met one. I don't know. I've never, I've not, obviously, I've never been obsessed with like fashion. Like I yeah. never understood like walking past a thing and seeing shoes or a purse and being like, oh my God, I have to have this. Me too. I understand walking past a restaurant and seeing food <laughs> being like oh my god yes I have you do to have this. yes you do i will sell my shoes for a lobster tail <laughs> yeah. i will go in barefoot i will never wear pants <laughs> to get lobster all the time what like i will sell all my clothes all my purses oh that's not what i thought you meant no <laughs> something dirty Okay. I get what you mean. But yeah, this is this is a fantastic show. Yeah. Only two episodes in. Usually it takes us like a few episodes to be like, yeah, this is great. 
Well, I'm excited for more because, like, the first episode was really good, but they, like, cranked it up a notch for the second. So if they just keep doing that, yeah. it's going to be a hell of a show. Yeah. So the absurdity of the show is, is yeah amazing to me. But anyway, we hope you enjoyed the reaction. Like, subscribe, do whatever you guys want. Thanks, and hopefully guys. we'll see you soon. Peace. Bye.